like that. The wind is blowing really hard in Toronto, February 15, 2024. We're at Keelan Bloor. I'm trying to find the, the key wall here. It's okay, let's go for a walk. Everything's white. The second time I got lost today, I made a previous film when I was walking in High Park. I was supposed to end up right there, but you know what? I made a complete circle. Ended up back where I started. So I had to take the subway down to Keelan Bloor, try to find a kill wall, I walk to down West West, and make a quick film. Snowy day in the Toronto, a little bit different. The first time it snows this year. I mean, a proper snow. We had a little, you know, whatever. But this is a priority. You got a Canadian flag on that car. Probably celebrating the carnival anniversary. Yeah, any anniversary, you know. Anyway. Oh, yeah, the, the thing's up there. Okay. Well, that's happening. I'm going to check out some of these stores here. It's great. When it snows, it really changes the whole look of the city. Usually it's kind of like, in the wintertime, you usually get blue skies and harsh light. Nice kind of a thing. Happy day. Well, you get these gray days where everything's brown. Brown and white. But today is all white and brown. But mostly white. I like it. I like the whole look. Look, everything looks so much, so much more photogenic. Can we say that? Yes, we can say that. The problem with a day like this is that you get your lens wet all the time. You know? There's a napkin. Oof. The wind. Ah, the wind. Ah, that north wind is coming down. I sent my uh, winter jacket uh, for repair. It was about eight years old. And all the seams were coming out. Yeah, eight years old jacket. They took it on warranty. They're trying to repair it. Uh, it's been about a month, maybe a month and a half. They haven't called me back yet. They're probably like, we can't fix this. Let's just get rid of this. Who is this guy? Oh, this is a cool, cool place. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, this guy's on a, he's on a bicycle mission. Huh. How's that for riding a bike? Let's see how slippery it is. Oh, not bad, not bad. Yeah, definitely a determined guy. But you know what? If you live in a city and you decide to use the bike for transportation and it snows like this and you have to go somewhere, what do you do? We're accelerating uphill, trying to pass her. that I'm looking for the keel alleyway but oh it's down there okay that's good we're gonna make it from down there is it slippery here uh, it is cool shit it is icy here my god make sure yeah, it's kind of yeah you come around that corner look at this construction site are they working or just shoveling Beautiful. We got a train up there. Very New York esque. Kind of looks like New York, but sounds like New York more. Not as noisy, but we'll get there. Toronto's gonna become New York in about 10 years. What kind of a New York? We don't know yet. The good time, the bad time, and the ugly one. We'll find out. So here's the. We'll walk through this alleyway and get to the other side. There's a subway station. We're gonna jump on the subway there and go somewhere else. Discover different parts of a city in this, uh, if you want to call this a snowstorm. But... All right, let's go check this out. See what the hell kind of stuff is that here. It's kind of cool. I like this alleyway. It's kind of interesting. Not very popular, but look at this. But it's, uh, but you know, it's the, I call this the, the secret Toronto's graffiti alley. The one downtown is kind of like corporate, but this one is more like, got a little jail cell here. 
in case we do bad graffiti. They may put you there for a while. Look at that. Alright. There's another one here. Clean the lens. Lens cleaning. Okay. Oh yeah. Looks like somebody's there. Powerful colors. Yellow blue against the white snow. Graffiti alley in winter storm. I like this one. Maybe this could be the thumbnail. Why not? We're on uh, Bloor Street to my right. We're about on a train. We're about 20 minutes to downtown area of Toronto. There are tracks to my behind me currently. All right. Is there a train coming? Yeah, there's a train. Subway tracks. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. I like this guy. Mickey Mouse or whatever they are. I don't know. I don't know my cartoon characters too good. All I know is Tintin. Tintin is a French uh, cartoon, I guess, from 1940s or 1930s, right? And uh, it's worldwide. World. Oh, it's worldwide. What's going on there? Oh, that tra train says out of service. MP's office here. There's always protests in front of it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's clean the lens. All right. Oh, this snow is really coming down hard. Well, I'd say about, we got about two inches, maybe. Two and a half inches of snow here, possibly more. It's, uh, like I said, the first snowstorm of the 2024. That's true. Subway tracks. This, uh, what do you call it? This gate they have here is so hard to shoot through. It's really tight, tight chain link fence. They don't want anybody even filming. Wow, the snow's coming in hard. Let's go continue in the street. Nothing is salted either. I used to salt the streets right away. Wow, I'm covered in snow. Let's go. Uh, let's take a selfie stick up. Let's see what happens. Two used tires here. They're a pretty good thread, but somebody cut right through them. Huh. So you can't use them anymore. Very interesting. Oh, we got the the King Kong ball. Hmm. That's what the King Kong say. I know that's what he's saying. Look at that, it's all movie shit. Bruce Lee there, Monroe. Alfred Hitchcock with his psycho, that movie. Yeah, Alfred Hitchcock was a pretty good, uh, it was like, it was the original. I don't know if it was good, but whoever does something first becomes famous for it. And then everybody else copies them. And they get copies them, and they get better. When Alfred Hitchcock made his original birds and that hotel movie and all that kind of stuff, the, the, the famous shower scene, if you've seen any of those, you know, they were the pioneers. Like, he did that. Nobody else was doing any of that. So, um, it was like shocking and really good. But then 
everybody started doing that. And when everybody started doing that, they start getting better at it. So when you see the old Hitchcock movies, you're like, eh, they're not that good. But once you remember that he was the first guy doing it and he didn't have this kind of cameras like I have. He had big cameras and big lighting and stuff. It was a great achievement in, in the cinema. Look, that looks like a devil himself. The wind is coming hard. That subway's over there. I'm gonna get into that station. This is what I call the the Toronto's hidden alleyway alley, the real one, the real Toronto. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. It's a beautiful, windy, snowy day. Look at these panels. I wonder what's in these. Is this safe? Ah, probably it is. All right, here we go. And they're gonna build a condo here sooner or later. So. I like this thing. Somebody just left their uh, shopping cart here. I don't know how they get it here. I thought they were locked. All right. All right. Thanks for checking it out. Is this guy gonna fit in or what? Yeah. Cool. All right. Catch you guys in the next film.